Uh, you have made it very clear you don't want to talk about uh, packing the court until after Election Day. But what about for undecided voters who want to know your position on possibly expanding the court before they cast their ballot? Well, look, what, before they can, what I want them to focus on is, I'd respectfully suggest, is what the packing, court packing is going on now. Never before, when an election has already begun and millions of votes are already cast, has it ever been that a Supreme Court nominee was put forward. Had never happened before. And one of the reasons is the Constitution implies that the only shot the American people get to determine who will be on the lifetime appointment on the Supreme Court or federal courts is when they pick their senator and their president, because the president names and the Senate advises and consents. Mm -hmm. That's the focus. I've already spoken on, I, I'm not a fan of pack, uh, court packing, but I'm not, I don't want to get off on that whole issue. I want to keep focused. They'd not, the president would love nothing better than to fight about whether or not I would, in fact, pack the court or not pack the court, et cetera. The focus is, why is he doing what he's doing now? Why now, with less than 24 days to go in the election? And the hearing's going to take place. and only going to be a, about 10 days or whatever it is before the vote takes place. That's the court packing the, the, the public should be focused on. Here in Ohio and really all across the country, we're seeing uh, them begin to surge once again.